Heat siphon water pressure switch change out. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. Remove the 10 Phillips head screws from the door. Pull the stainless steel knob off, or use the small flathead screwdriver to remove the black plastic knob. Remove the four Phillips head screws to open the access door. Remove the two wires that connect to the water pressure switch's terminals. And clear the wires that wrap around the switch. Reach up through the back panel and loosen the plastic retaining nut. And that will free the switch from the back panel. Pull the tubing off the bottom of the switch. Here's a look at the black plastic retaining nut. Be sure to put the black plastic retaining nut onto the tubing before you push it up through the hole in the back panel. Take the clean end of the tubing and press it onto the barbed fitting on the bottom of the water pressure switch. Make sure the tubing is pushed fully down over the barbed fitting. Put the switch down into the mounting hole. Take the black plastic retaining nut and slide it up the tubing. Thread the nut onto the back of the pressure switch. Wrap the wires back up around the switch. And reconnect the two wires you removed from the switch. The black wire from the thermostat and the blue wire from the low pressure switch. Order doesn't matter. Install the 10 Phillips head screws in the door, push on the stainless steel knob, or use the small screwdriver on the black plastic knob. Reattach the access door with four Phillips head screws.